good morning happy hump day people so today is our dry run in a quarter mile merge onto texas 375 loop east yeah we got the gps on but today is our dry run going to the daycare seeing how this traffic is on the way to the job um doesn't look too bad so far not so bad but we shall see when we get on this major highway up here over by the mountains continue on texas 375 loop east for 10 miles yep so yeah uh we're gonna go check out this daycare and i'll let you all know how it goes it's gonna be a long ride every morning I can already see it. Whew, I'm gonna have to have my coffee on deck, okay? Hey guys, so we finally made it back to the house. And, um, you know, we visited the daycare. We stayed there probably about 30 minutes, maybe 15, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Along those lines, they showed me everything. The lady was very thorough. Um, I love it. I think I'm gonna like this place. Um, you know, they've got different activities. You know, she showed me as far as with the, you know, the older kids and what they can do. And then, um, I actually got to meet the, um, provider that's gonna be for Madison's class. And she was super nice. And, um, she has three babies right now. The ratio is one to four again. So, um, I feel pretty comfortable with having Maddie there and um, just wanted to double check on everything that she needed and they gave me all the paperwork and you know how the payments will work out and everything so I'm a little excited for her reason being not excited because we'll be parting ways not parting ways like forever but you know like during the day but I'm um, excited because I feel like with her being in this type of environment, it'll make her more well-rounded, you know, with people and she won't have like stranger anxiety or anything like that. So, um, I feel excited for her in a way. And then it'll, you know, help Mike said it'll probably help like, you know, if she was shy or something like that, she won't be as shy if she, you know, is around other people and things like that. Also, I'm interested in knowing if my baby will come home speaking Spanish because, you know, we're in El Paso and that's like the primary language here is Spanish. So I'm just wondering if she'll come home being my little Dora, the Dora the Explorer. <laughs> but we'll see. But yeah, so I've been put at ease just a little bit from the visit. So that's good news. Good, good news. Use any lane to turn left onto Gateway South Boulevard, Patriot Freeway. Okay, girl. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Happy Thursday. Thankful Thursdays is what I like to call it. We are on our way to <coughs> Madison's Pediatrician. Continue on Gateway South Boulevard for four miles. Not because she's sick or anything like that, but we're on the way there because, as you all know, as far as with the daycare... Um, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know that you have to get a physician to fill out a form basically saying that she is, um, you know, well and, you know, mentally able to be watched by these daycare providers or whatever. So, we're going to go get that form filled out so we can get that turned in when we go in on Monday, so... I didn't realize it was this much work, but it is what it is. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. And though we are, it's almost 12 o'clock, it's almost noon. So we'll probably grab a little lunch while we're out and probably stop by the store, got a few things to pick up. But I'll check back in with you all a little bit later. So we're back at the house guys our 
trip to the doctor was successful. Went ahead and got the forms filled out. So we're all set to go for Monday. Stopped by a couple of stores to get a couple of things. So we're back home. And from this point on, for the rest of the week, I'm just gonna enjoy my Maddie. Because we're not gonna get days like this anymore unless it's a holiday or something. So. We're just going to play it up and have fun here at the house. Isn't that right? Fun, fun. <laughs> Beautiful people, what's up? Happy Friday, TGIF. Thank gosh. Bittersweet, though. This will be my last Friday free. <laughs> oh before work on monday i'm happy but i'm sad i actually was crying this morning because i was just thinking about leaving my baby it's just gonna be so weird anywho got business to handle today i've got to go to the social security office here i don't know what i did with my social security card that's scary i don't know where it is i've looked in all my purses you know, and all my different wallets, and I still can't seem to find it. So I'm just going to go and get a replacement. Probably put like a um, an alert on my credit report, just in case some crazy activity happens. But I haven't noticed anything, and I check it all the time up on the credit karma. So, I don't know. It's probably somewhere here, and I'm just overlooking it, most likely. But yeah, we're going to get ready to go. Maddie's taking a nap, waiting on her to wake up. Because, you know, Maddie has to have her nap before we go anywhere. Otherwise, she is, like, off the chain. So, yeah. So, I will check back in with you all later. Me and Mike, hopefully, we'll get to spend some time together this weekend, too. Because he'll be leaving out on... The 14th, I believe, and he'll be gone for like a month going to NTC. So, not fun, not looking forward to it, especially at this point in time where I am getting ready to go to work. You know, like I might need to come home and vent to him, but I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm just gonna have to vent to Maddie. She's gonna be looking at me like, but I'm just gonna have to vent. <laughs> but yeah, all right, I'll check back with you all later. Funny story guys, so I was sitting in the social security office because I had to come in and apply for a replacement card. And how about a lady in front of me, she turns around and she gives me a whole paragraph in Spanish and I'm looking at her like this. Finally I said, no se, no habla espanol. And all of a sudden she spoke perfect English. I'm sorry, do I look Mexican? Do I, I know they, you know can be of darker complexion but <laughs> you know we we live in El Paso so we're right here by the border of Mexico New Mexico we're right here but I guess I need to I, I need to download Rosetta because I, that is like the second or third time that I've gotten that and I'm looking like puzzled I don't I, I mean yeah I took like two or three years of Spanish but Asked me to put together a sentence. I don't remember that crap. But I thought that was too funny. Madison was having a good old time in there. <laughs> they were just talking to her in Spanish and she was like, <laughs> Oh, life in El Paso. I tell you. <laughs>
people happy Sunday hopefully you all had a great weekend you know what today is football Sunday of course um, I got on my Georgia shirt right now representing they play at 1230 because it was postponed from yesterday so gotta represent for them and then of course I got my cowboy shirt waiting because they play at what time babe 225 they play at 225. So, <sighs> stressful. Game day. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully y'all are having a good Sunday. Tomorrow is the big day, guys. Tomorrow I will be working. I'm ready, but I'm not ready. Oh, and luckily, so Mike is going to be off Monday and Tuesday. So Madison is going to stay with him tomorrow. Hopefully... She will be pleasant, and she will be daddy's big girl, and she will act accordingly, and she will get to stay with him Tuesday. But we're just going to do a trial run tomorrow and see how she acts, and then if not, she'll be going to daycare on Tuesday. But luckily, I don't have to, you know, rush and do all of that, and my emotions be a ball of emotions on my first day. So, we shall see. Hopefully, I pray that everything goes well. But I have to be at work at 7 a.m. Initially, we thought it was 9 a.m., but I have to be there at 7 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to have to get my life together before I get there. Like, coffee on deck. Energy. You know, I'm going to have to be all there. So, <sighs> wish me luck. You know what, today is an awesome day. My Bulldogs just won. My Cowboys in the third quarter, 28 to zip. I would just say, it's a done deal. I mean, we've already done for the day. You know what, so I'm gonna end the vlog right here with confidence, that's what I'm gonna do. It's been real. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. This is a start to a great Week, babe. Did you want to say anything? Uh, Cowboys Nation. Uh, Cowboys Nation. Well, number one. You did twenty-eight nothing. We're whooping ass right now. All I gotta say is playoffs. <laughs> Two.